as we did before several years ago at the Davos Forum. You, were, you made a really impressive speech with your fellow uh, professor, uh, Dr. Daniel Yergin, about the future of the energy. And it turns out to be true, with the exception of this pandemic. We never expected this happen. But anyway, would you please, would you please uh, uh, share your opening message of course. for the audience? So I would like to say two things. One about the, the globally, after the coronavirus, mm. how does the uh, global energy system uh, looks like? Should we be pessimistic or optimistic about the clean energy future? Yes. And then I would like to offer a few thoughts about Korea, uh, your uh, country of uh, uh, Korea. Great. Now, this year is, a, of course, a very difficult year, a grim year for all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, thousands of people are losing their health, their lives, and the global economy is seeing a sharp reduction, as it has never been the case since Second World War. But now here comes the point. Mm -hmm. Despite all this, I am even more optimistic than before about a clean energy future in the world. Why? I have a few reasons. I have five major reasons why I am optimistic about a clean energy future, even in this green year. Very briefly, first, Solar and uh, wind are growing so strongly and their cost is going down so strongly that we are seeing a major penetration of solar and wind. Mm -hmm. Solar in Asia, Middle East, uh, Europe, uh, Americas, but also wind. As IEA has rightly expected, one and a half, uh, two years ago, the offshore wind is becoming cheaper and cheaper. So this is yes. the first reason I am uh, optimistic. The second reason is, as a result of the uh, economic crisis, many governments, many central banks respond with monetary policies, which means ultra low interest rates. And many clean energy technologies, options, such as solar, wind, electric cars, hydrogen, they need upfront high level investments, but their running cost, their fuel is more or less free. Therefore, I expect with the ultra low interest rate, we may see a support for the investments for clean energy technologies such as uh, uh, solar, electric car, winds, and others. Third, more and more governments around the world are pushing clean energy as a key priority. From Europe to Korea, from uh, Canada to several other countries around the world. They are doing it for different uh, reasons first to address the climate change. Some of them want to address the issue of the air pollution in the uh, cities, but many of them are pushing clean energy technologies also to put themselves at the forefront of the industries of the future. So therefore I see more and more governments are pushing clean energy in their uh, uh, policies. But also, in addition to governments, several companies, energy companies, oil gas companies, electricity companies, are uh, giving a growing share of clean energy in their investment and business plans. Oil and gas companies, one after the other, uh, committing themselves for a significant amount of uh, wind, solar, hydrogen, carbon capture and storage uh, technologies investments. In addition to the energy companies, we see that the several uh, giant technology companies pushing the clean energy uh, uh, button. 
And finally, I see that the innovation is also getting a big support from different uh, governments. And despite the difficulty of the global economy, many governments are uh, expanding their public budgets for clean energy research and uh, development. Also, a record high investment by venture capital funds go to clean energies. So, Mr. Kim, these are five major reasons why I am <clears throat> in the middle of a, such a grim year, hopeful or optimistic about clean energy future. And uh, of course, there are many challenges uh, uh, coming along, but I would like to stop here about the global picture and want to say a few things about uh, Korea. Now, in terms of Korea, of course, uh, for a somebody like me who follows the, all the developments of the governments, what the governments are doing, what the companies are doing uh, very carefully, the news is the Green New Deal. No. Korean government put the Green New Deal at the heart of the economic and uh, social uh, recovery. And uh, I believe this is a very wise and timely move. Okay. And uh, why it is uh, uh, good for uh, Korea, first of all, Korea put itself with those countries who are leaders, global leaders to address climate change. This is one, reputational. Uh, second, it can provide the, uh, uh, tremendous opportunities in uh, the current uh, Korean infrastructure because Korea has a healthy financial system and uh, Korea can take with this healthy financial system, which is very rare in today's world, this uh, Korean government can make advantage of the rapidly falling cost of new technologies. And the very fact that the innovation is a magic word in Korea, Korea being one of the leaders of uh, innovation, and as such, its population has shown an unparalleled uh, openness towards digitization are uh, very important. I uh, commend the Korean government uh, to uh, push the uh, renewable energies because it will help to reduce the emissions, but also air pollution in the cities. And it will, at the same time, help the address the energy security concerns, it, is, it will decrease the energy imports. So uh, my only, if I can make one suggestion from Paris to my colleagues in uh, <clears throat> Korea, you have a very able uh, Minister of uh, Economy. I recently wrote a joint article with him on energy efficiency. My only suggestion is, it is good to clean the electricity sector, very important, and Korea is making good steps in the right direction by phasing out coal, mm -hmm. pushing the renewable, and so on. But energy sector is, energy is not only used in the electricity. It is used in the iron steel, in uh, aluminium, in shipping, uh, uh, very important, and uh, trucks and others. We may need to put increasing attention also on the uh, areas beyond electricity generation, such as the ships, trucks, uh, heavy industries, and so on. But in general, uh, uh, I am confident that the true Green New Deal, Korea will demonstrate the world that uh, not only it is important to have a clean energy transition, but it will help the Korean economy and the position Korean industry for uh, the, uh, being a leader for the industries of the future. The World Knowledge Forum.